Man talks back, all right. Hello, Facebook. How are we Ash doing? Ash sucks. Ash sucks. Ash sucks. I'm just getting it out there. Ash sucks. <laughs> Ash sucks, mate. everybody. You, you, you freaking wish, mate. You wish. How is everybody? How are Happy 2021. Facebook? What's going on? How are we? Uh, welcome on in. It's an absolute cluster, as usual. What do you expect? What do you expect? We have Christmas music going on. Hey, we're still living in December. It feels like <laughs> December, Eric. I just, <laughs> I just see Jared. Okay, three, two, one, going live. And I turn it on. It's like, dun, 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 dun. I'm like, Jared, you still got the fucking christmas Jesus. some <laughs> things never change would you expect anything less hey um, ash sucks that's ex- absolutely 100 correct hashtag, hashtag of the year oh, hashtag. Get, oh really it's, 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 the first hashtag Are i've you heard kidding? i've heard it's trending in portugal already <laughs> mm. there you go how are we doing, chat? What's going on? Um, how was everyone's Christmas and New Year? We hope you had a, uh, a good festive season and haven't been melting too much the last week or so. It's been hot. Hot as balls, some people would say. It's been hot. Mm. Yeah, ball soup all around. Warm. Oh, ball soup. Um, um, yeah, so we're back. We're back. They've commissioned us for another season. Who knew? Um, they must like something that we're doing. I don't know. Um, unless they're really silly, which, hey, possible. I think they can't just find four other suckers to do this every week. <laughs> and you, <laughs> you're it. Um, I thought, well, we might as well catch up with what we've been up to because it's been it's been a hot minute. I think it was the twenty first. It's been a month, so it's been a month and four days. So, mm-hmm. Lloyd, what has been yes, cracking, mate? What's going on? This is back. <laughs> what has been cracking? Um, had a couple of weeks off after Christmas. We worked uh, worked Christmas Day and then decided to close up for two weeks so went and caught up with all the family and friends that we couldn't see throughout the year um managed to get my twitch stream up off the ground and hit affiliate already so that's that's been heap of fun so i want to say a big thank you to everyone in the manshake and twitch communities that has uh that supported my channel thank you very much guys um other than that been pretty uh pretty cruisy Started my my new weight loss journey for the year, which I've been smashing pretty well so far. Except for these past three days, it's been very hot and very mm. lazy, and a yeah. lot of uh, a lot of couch hangs. So just just doing these ones. Gotta love a couch hang. How does yeah. a couch hang? Yeah, couch hang. <laughs> Gotta feel all disheveled. Um, Look at me. But yeah, other than that, no, pretty pretty quiet. Just spending time with the family and uh, back at work now. It's been very busy. And um, yeah, 2021. Here we go. That's it. What about Rookie. you, Ash? I just, want to, uh... I just want to say how magnificent you look tonight, Lloyd. I've said it before, mate, but you're, you're looking really cliff oh, beneath. You right? two get a room. Fuck. We're already down below. Like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> mate, wait, seriously, treat yourself and go to Lloyd's Twitch streams. It's like him is like. It's the complete different person. It's yeah. like Heckle and jo- he- Heckle, Heckle and, and Jekyll. Jekyll, that's the one. <laughs> we got Dr. to a stage Dr. the other night in my Twitch chat where I almost had to ban him. Like he yeah. was out of control. He is out of control. <laughs> you yeah. know who? You know who's actually worse? You know who's more? You know uh, how you going than Lloyd? Mrs. Bond. She Ooh, she yeah. gets fruity. Yeah. She gets a she gets yeah. fruity. She comes eh? and trolls my channel every time I go. I, she, I go live and she's. A... I love it. So good. <laughs> so good. With yeah. all, all the trolls. Lloyd's very different. Um, on here, he sort of, I think he gets dwarfed yeah. by the Does three dickheads like... in the corners. But when he's, when he's got control on his channel, he's, he's a beast. I love it. It's so good. He just flops it out, puts it on the keyboard, and just yeah. fucking says whatever comes to mind. It's brilliant. I love it. So check mm. out uh, uh, Lloyd's Twitch. Thank you. Mm. Uh, to answer your question, uh, yeah, it was just a Christmas at uh, Christmas at home. Uh, you know, of, of course, the restrictions in New South Wales made it a bit more difficult. We didn't get to do like some of the big family dinners, which really sucked. Um, I could imagine it was sucked for a lot of people out there. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, Lisa, you know, Lisa, she had a fantastic Christmas because it's all about presents for her. And uh, now we're just in, in the new year. She's starting uh, primary school this year for the first time. So uh, I'm, she's got a very nervous dad here and, uh, but she's really excited. 
and uh, yeah, that's, that, that, that's about it. Yeah, just a lot of uh, walking, vlogging, working, that kind of stuff. Cool. Mm. Timbo, what about you, mate? Got laid, got drunk, <laughs> got fat, got presents. <sighs> did Did you get a fat while you were getting laid? Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> usually, it doesn't she, usually help. She, it's she, is she a, there or I just she like I just had a good time. Like it was just a good Christmas. It was uh, it was it was nice. It was just relaxing and stress free, and yeah, it was top stuff. Like cool. Can't can't complain. Can't complain. Hey, when Tim when Tim's getting laid, we're all happy. Yeah, <laughs> you can tell because he's got this great big smile from freaking ear to ear. <laughs> oh, that's just the energy drink I'm on, don't worry. <laughs> oh, oh, it's fucking. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love um, I love it when Tim is. I love when things are going Tim's way because um, I know you know, and a lot of us know that um, Tim gets a rough end of the stick with a few different things. So uh, I'm always happy when he's um getting the rub of the green, so to speak. So that's good. Um. <laughs> Sorry, he gets a few sticks if you know what I mean. Well, <laughs> out the butt. Um, <laughs> Jesus, you just you just had to go there, didn't you? You just had to. You're go the there. you're the one that opens with. I got laid. No, I opened with Ash sucks. Stay tuned for episode sixty nine, chat. It's coming. <laughs> um, Mate, no. what an episode that would be. Nice. Uh, what did I do? I um, spent time with the family. No we went away. I know no one asked because you're all a bunch of rude <laughs> assholes. Um. Oh, sorry. I just we just all know what you're up to all the time because like we follow you on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter and Facebook and Twitch and every second notification. Jared <laughs> has done something. Jared has taken a shit. Oh, cool. There's a million different angles of how that happened, how that went down. <laughs> so Keep let's... firing assholes. <laughs> uh, we're going to give away some uh, mango. We're giving away some mango shake tonight, chat. Six people against a bag of mango shake. So there'll be a random number of draws um, throughout the show. So we will let you know when the first draw is coming. It'll be soon. Um, you can win a bag of the mango limited edition shake. How many limited editions? We have no idea. It's limited edition. So don't make the mistake like, like everyone did with the birthday cake. If you want to try the flavor, go and buy the fucking flavor. All right? I don't want to hear people Ooh. whinging. I didn't get a chance to buy it. If you want mango, buy the fucking thing, or you can win one here. There you go. Pop that. Yeah, stick around, because we're giving away a lot of them tonight. A lot of them. That's it. got to be around. That's it. Now, for um, those who haven't got the internet, what did you get to, up to in your Christmas break, Jerdman? I did some stuff with the family. <laughs> Fuck you all. Fuck like, like, years. I got up to things. I did <laughs> stuff. I did stuff. I, I had fun as well. Anyone, yeah. that, anyone that's interested would know what I was up to, obviously. Um, anyway, I streamed on Twitch. I went away with the family. We went away for two weeks. It rained 11 days of that. That was fantastic. Um, better than the bushfires last year. So anyway, Ash sucks. <laughs> all right. I love um, that I roasted him and you got everyone's. Yeah, you got you. That's it's, so just, it's just it's just so situation good. fucking normal. I said he pushed some buttons <laughs> and I get fucking shit on from great height. Um, I'm, I should be down the bottom actually. Just I should just be underneath yeah, all of you, you getting you shat on from all three. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Turn off your camera. Turn perfect. We should do it. We should do a Brady Bunch intro using these cam frames. How good would that be? Yeah, that'd be so good. That's it. Here's your story it? of a fuckwit named Tim. <laughs> you have to fuck with friends <laughs> named Jared and Lloyd. Bryce, they're ripping in tonight, chat. Um, yeah. well, thank you, yeah, thank you, thank you, Mud Jane. I appreciate that, Mud Jane. Thank you. Mm. Shalom, Mud Jane. Shalom. You definitely, you definitely are her mm. favorite, dude. By okay. the way, that's fine. That's fine. Man, yeah. this sucks. Jess Bruce, man, she is ripping into me. Jesus Love you, Jess Christ. Bruce. What did I do to you, Bruce? <laughs> you're the best, Jess Bruce. You're the best. Um, How many first names do you want? Come on, pick one. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! We are Whoa. actually. Oh, that's fucking harsh. I'm um, just saying that I suck over and over. We uh, be nice, Ash. We're gonna have we're gonna have Jess Bruce on as a guest um as a guest star in one of these episodes. So be nice. Yeah, and Ash Ash James. How many fucking first names do you want? Eh? <laughs> I just got my last name, Dick Face. <laughs> you know. Oh, you got me. That's true. Oh my god. 
Hey, Lloyd, how you doing, buddy? You all right down there, mate? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, cool. That's good. I'm That's good. Very well. Jesus right, let's Christ. Get, let's get back on. Let's get back let's draw, on. Let's draw, like, let's draw our let's first fucking in. winner. Let's go. Let's, let's draw give one. away something. Let's, yeah. We're giving right, away so a bag. It's been, it's been a long time since we've insulted each other on the internet, so that we've gotten that out of the way. That's it. Let's That's give it. away something. Let's, let's give away a bag, a bag of mango. Let's go. We're going to do a number from 1 to 100. Go, chat. Go. Go, 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 go. Pick a number. 1 and 100. Hey, Ode. How you doing, buddy? Welcome on in, mate. 1 to 100. You got a minute. One to a hundred. The Ooh, closest number is going to get a bag of mango. Mango, mango, mango. Do we know what number we're looking out for, boys? Yeah, the, the, yeah. I got a first number there. First also, number in our group chat. Also, uh, for those who aren't aware, we were lucky enough late last year to uh, have the wonderful people at Blue Microphones come through and sponsor our wonderful little podcast. So we're very happy uh, to... to be in the blue family. Thank you, Logitech, as well. So we are hashtag powered by blue. And uh yeah, thank you so much for her, like for helping us out. They've been fantastic. Our contact over at Blue Microphones has been spectacular. Um, and yeah, we'll have some more information soon on some other products that we'll be flogging off there you go. in the near future. I do love my easy. big black so, microphone. I love it. Don't mind the old, the old flog off. Um yeah. no, no one's tried the mango yet. Um they got it in no stock. No one's got, got it. it. No one's got it. They got it in stock. Hey. Yeah. All right. Congratulations, yeah. everyone. Stop. Stop. We got a winner. You going to call it, Jared? Yep. Uh, I'm going to tag. Hopefully, I can tag him. We'll see. Um, to him. To him. Uh, can I? Okay. There we go. There we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. There you go. Bang. Steve Celia. Congrats, mate. Congrats, Steve Cilia. You get a bag of mango. Boom. Woo. There you go. Um, can someone write that in? I'll do it there. Yep. Yeah, Lloyd. I've got his details. I've sent oh, the message do? already. Cool. Sweet. Mr. Awesome. Lloyd over in uh, that direction will uh Oh, it's this one out. too, chat. Sorry, oh, chat. For, for, um, for transparency, there it is. 51. 51. That was the winning number. 5-1. There you go. Um, so a bag of mango coming your way. Congrats, Steve. There you go. Hey, boom, boom, boom. You'll love it. Dude, awesome. I can't wait to get mine, eh? Like, you know, we, we all um, get a notification <laughs> that our mango shakes on its way. Mm. And um, it's via Express. I don't know whether they uh, they deliver over on Australia Day, do they? I thought mm. I might on Wednesday. No, they won't deliver tomorrow. No, no they shouldn't. Anyway, so when, Wednesday, you'll see all the reviews pop up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Is it all yeah. pick a number for the six bags? No, we're giving away six bags. That was one bag. We've got five more bags to give away. Yeah, it's, it's all pick a number competition. Just one yeah, bag. That's, that's it. So Steve got a bag, and there's five more chances to win one bag of shake. Yeah, but they're, they're all pick a number, Joe. That's what he's getting at. It's all randomized. Yeah. I think it's, uh, it's, okay, coming back. No fucking idea. Nah. We don't have that information. Sorry, man. Oh, it's all six. Yeah, it's all picking up. Yeah, yeah. I thought he meant for the six bags was the one thing. No. Yeah. All good. Uh, no, I haven't got it. We haven't got a delivery yet. It, they got dispatched today. So if you've ordered it, if you did order it on Friday, you may have got a dispatch notice. I don't know. We'll see. Who knows? I'm I sure we'll know. find out pretty quickly once once people start saying, oh, I've tried I it. It tastes great. Oh, I've tried it. It tastes I shit. Can't. It'll happen. Yeah, I can't wait. No, no one's going to. If you like the Weiss Mango Bars, like uh, apparently this is right up that alley. So I can, I can just imagine people that don't like mango buying it and going, oh, I don't like it. Do you like mangoes? No. <laughs> well, why did you buy the so fucking many flavor? Negative delis, eh? Well, I fucking don't like it. It tastes too much like mango. Yeah. It's a mango flavor. Yeah. Fuck's sake. Okay, so they they did the big reveal, and like probably about six people said, "I don't like mango." Like we're like, you know, why not pick a better flavor? Surely the R and D department listened to their fans. Like, <laughs> can't fuck down. It's there's awesome. always going to be someone that doesn't like a particular flavor. It's uh yeah, and always. it's also like. A lot, there was a lot of anger about the fact that they announced mango as a flavor and like didn't you know do anything else. Like a, a lot of people have to understand that in the world of business, there's a lot of agreements and a lot of transactions that take place behind the scenes that have strict dates on them where you can't announce something before a certain date. Like that's just how business works. Uh, you can't say things about products because you can't you know, you don't know when the delivery is going to arrive. You don't know when. You know, you're getting part, like, if, for example, if you're getting ingredients in from different companies, you know, those companies might want you to sign an agreement to say that you won't mention that until a certain date. Like, it's there's so much behind the scenes that happens in, with embargoes and things like that. 
but they can't just go, oh, yeah, old mate who messaged through on Facebook wants to know if there's a new flavor coming out. Mm. We'll let him know. He won't no. tell anyone. We'll let him you know. know. No, like, he's, he's not going to tell yeah. anyone. Um, yeah. But that, Ben, sorry, Ben Warren wants to know they're going to do a watermelon flavor. Ben, you know my opinion on water film, watermelon flavor. It's a fruit, not a flavor. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jesus. It's a fruit, wow. not a flavor. Jeez. And watermelon. I, <laughs> I could make some shake in my home. <sighs> it tastes of. Watermelon. <laughs> Anything so watermelon, watermelon flavor tastes like a weak watermelon. It's shit. Watermelon flavor is rubbish. You fucking taste like a weak watermelon. You'd know. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fucking cop that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> fucking from the dirt teeth. Uh, pi- pineapple flavor. Fuck that out of here, Bill. Ban Bill. Uh, Bezo, can you ban Bill from the chat, please? Um. <laughs> Yeah, Mango anyway. sucks. Can you ban Brock from the chat, please, too, as well, Bezo? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> anywho, what have you been up to, chat? You tell us what you've been up to. Um, how are you traveling with everything? Got any questions? Um, um, yeah, we if are. Got, if you've got like a legitimate question, can you just write in bold letters question and then write the question? question. Have you, uh... Oh, sorry. Sorry. You go. You go. Sorry. No, no, no. Yeah, interrupt away. Go for it. No, that's okay. No, I was just sorry. I was just reading a comment and I just went through it. Um, you go, Ash. You go. All good. I'm done. Last bit, okay. Good. It's have you spoken to Dukes? Have you spoken to Dukes about um X fifty? Um. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We've heard some things. Yeah. Yeah. That was an interesting conversation that Ash and I had with him at uh at the the Mantor commercial. Oh, that's right. Me and Ash are famous. We've been on TV. That's new. Um, did yeah, you guys? Yeah, were you got, did that you guys? So did you guys share an He's ad together? There. Did you guys share an ad together? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Two, I shared I shared two, an ad with my two, son. Actually. Okay. Yeah, no, but ours was funny. Mm. <laughs> um. I said, I said, like, no, I, I, I have no. Back Duke, to that conversation. Duke, I have Duke, chatted Duke. about that. Okay, guys, we would have you picked Churd for this one, but we need someone with a personality. Yeah. So, <laughs> Dudes was not impressed with X50. A eh, where we were saying, oh, like, yeah, Jared likes the X50, and he like, I won't repeat what he said, but he was not Ooh, impressed. Well, I won't. I won't. <laughs> I won't repeat what he said to me about something then. Okay. Because oh. strap yourself in. Um, yeah, that's all I'll say. It could be, Ooh. it could be, I don't know. You can't St- just give that much of a that. fucking, St- like, like, just open I'll the, just the say, window, just hey, a little crap. Hey, I'll just say, stay tuned, chat. <laughs> oh, well, that's, oh, oh. Wow. Hey, there's, there's certain contracts assigned, there's certain NDA things. I'm just I'm not at liberty to say certain things. Yes, that's fair. I've signed enough NDAs in my time to know they're not to be fucked with. Yeah, uh, Team Ash, how hard is life now that you are super ad famous? It's really hard, actually. I've had a lot of people come into the shop and they're like, oh, you're that dude from the ad. And I'm like, yeah, it's super hard. The, yeah, you no, known, I've actually had so many people, this, people and blokes that uh, I haven't spoken to in like years message me on Facebook saying, dude, I just saw you on TV. I'm like, awesome. I haven't seen myself on TV yet because I don't really watch a lot of free to wear. But no, free to, um, I don't watch free to wear. Right? It's actually really cool. Like, cause uh, I just get, you know, someone new every so often and say, dude, I saw you on, like during the cricket the other night. I'm just like, yeah, that was me. I was yeah, down real. on my holiday that I didn't talk about. Um, I was down at Huskerson and I went into the server that I've been going into for like 10 years. Anyway, I got the kids a packet of Doritos and whatever shit they wanted. I got me some water. And I went to the counter and I said, oh, I'll get these things, mate. And he goes, you look like Jerdman. And I said, I am Jerdman. He goes, holy shit. He said, I didn't realize, I didn't think it was you because you're buying Doritos. And I'm like, no, I wasn't buying them for the kids. <laughs> and then he came around and, and, and we had a chat and he shook my hand and stuff. And we had a good chat about it. So there you go. Um, uh, Shane, Shane, I said, that's on TMZ. He's like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Jared's buying Doritos. Buying Doritos. 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 phony. Doritos. Um, Just um, Bruce, Bruce, question. Is- Just Bruce, question. Have you guys had the issue where some weeks you were struggling to lose weight at all without changing routines? I've been struggling since the new year and haven't dropped as much as I would have previously. Oh, that's a very good question. A lot of people have I that have issue. This, yeah, I have this problem where I like eat cheeseburgers and for some reason the number on the scale goes up. I haven't figured out why yet, but I'm working on it. But no, seriously, it's... it's yeah. the scales some are, weeks you lose... Yeah, don't... Yeah. don't yeah. It's Lloyd, hard. Lloyd, I, I started again early... Well, 1st of Jan, I started my journey again. Uh, the first week I dropped 4.6 kilos. I think the second week I lost 300 grams. Didn't change anything. I walked heaps. Uh, my diet was spot on. 
And then the week after was 2.6 kilos. Mm. So quite often you'll fluctuate. You might sit still for ages and then all of a sudden you'll have a drop and then you'll sit still for ages and then you'll have a drop. It's just, it's just well, how it is. It I doesn't know, mean you're not making progress. I know, um, you know, Jess Bruce, I know Jess Bruce. Um, Tim knows Jess Bruce. Um, Jess has lost 26 point, well, last I heard 26.5 kilos. Jess, you've lost 26 and, kilos. And, like yeah. your body's eventually going to say, maybe we should ease up a little bit on that. And maybe, maybe that's your yeah. body's sort of saying, resisting a little bit, but like, just keep doing what you're doing. It's working, Jess. And I know how good you're feeling nowadays too. So just, you just keep going, Jess. You just keep doing your thing. Don't let the scales fuck well, with your head. Sometimes the- it's, oh, sorry, Ash. No, no, no. Well, look, at the end of the day, like where you don't have a set routine, like at deep down, I believe everyone craves a little bit of routine, you know, if, especially if you're on a weight loss journey and being that I had three weeks on annual leave, like I did nothing but gain weight because <laughs> I, I didn't have really like a set plan of how I'm going to spend each day. But at the same time, breath, I was kind of relaxing the reins a little bit. But the first week I got back from work, I lost 1.8 kilos. Mm. You know, so it, it's amazing how much that little bit of like routine through going back to work or anything like that uh, can influence you in a positive way. But if you don't have a set routine and it's constantly changing, like Godspeed, I don't know how you do it. Like, I mean, I, whether it be you prep all your meals for the week or you, uh, you, you have to sit down and come up with a timesheet of when you exercise or do what may have you. Um, yeah, that, that's a tough one. That's a real tough one. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, mm. and it goes back to that thing too about the scales. Like, look, the scales are one factor that can tell you how good you're going. Like, yeah. you worry about how you're good you're feeling, clothes, uh, just self worth, really. Because you know, you Jess has lost 26 kilos. That's what 13 bags of potatoes. Like, how fucking good you got to be feeling losing 20 th- yeah. 13 bags of potatoes? Like, it's nuts. So that's that I week. I feel like I ate those 13 bags of fucking potatoes mm. on Christmas Day. Like. Mm. That's week that I only lost 300 grams. Like 300 grams, it's still still a loss. Um, but I lost two centimeters around the guts. Mm. So like I'd still made progress. That's like, great. You gotta, you gotta factor in all, all these things as well. So yeah, yeah. don't just buy by, by the scales, they're just a guide. Yeah. Oh, they fuck with your head, the old mm. scales. Mm. They do. Um, I've, um, I, yeah. I actually put the scales away for a good six months. Um I haven't weighed myself in I worked that hard in what 2019, start of 2020. And I put the scales away for six months. I weighed myself uh, what last week, a couple of weeks ago, and I'd put on uh, I put on about fifteen kilo in six months without weighing myself. So um, to me, I feel like I obviously I know that I've I've lost the weight, so I can do it again. But um, I had people say you look you're looking good, and I'm like I'll put a bit of weight on. They said, yeah, you probably need to put a bit of weight on. I think a lot of people were worried mm-hmm. that I was looking a bit, um, a bit gaunt, a bit gaunt, <laughs> and like I'm a big dude anyway, so. I'm not mm. quite where I want to be. I still want to drop a bit, but um, I think it's about finding a balance and finding the um, it's a it's a lifelong thing. You have got to be happy with where you are. So like, you know, you can chase it's the scales, like- chase the scales, chase the scales. But if you're happy with where you are, then and you're honestly happy with where you are, then you know, there's a lot to be said about that too. Well, as far as I'm concerned, Team Thick is the best team. Like with oh. three C's as well. Like honestly, it, it's just, I yeah, I. Looking Jared, a bit like an ice addict. People I thought I had um, some terminal disease. People did think I had a terminal disease at one point. I, I, I will say, Jared, like, I mean, I know you are quite despondent when you first jumped on the scales about mm. it, and understandably so. Like, this was the first real time that you've had to go into a maintenance phase since mm. losing a tremendous amount of weight. Mm. But the fact that, uh, that I'm proud of you is that you got on those scales, you faced that reality, and then you decided to get back onto it rather than going into a self-destructive you know, oh, it's so easy to do that. And, yeah. you know, the, the fact that you've reached out to us to let us know what happened, you know, it, it really goes to show, like, I mean, Jerd, like, I mean, yeah, he's on the sides of buses. He lost a tremendous amount of weight. He is the, the face of man shake at the present moment. But, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. You can have your back, little backslides, but so long as you pick yourself up, mm. dust yourself off, you can keep going. And, yeah, uh, yeah I'm really proud of you, Jerd. Mm. Oh, thank you, thank you. And your, it's... your lifestyle's changed a lot too since when you're losing weight like it has the time well, that you're spending at the gym you're yeah and, i am and yeah. doing what you want to do now priorities too. have um so. shifted somewhat obviously um plus my gyms mm. like i'm a night person everyone anyone that knows me knows i'm a night person like i'm up till 2 a.m like sleeping is one of my worst habits like i haven't changed that at all but i've never been i've always been a night out so now the gyms mm. aren't open night time um it's hard for me because I, I just can't i just can't get motivated so we started walking and um, this last week we've started walking after dinner. We go for a, we do a 
it's like a two and a half K walk just around the park with the kids and stuff. And I've got, I'm getting my bike. So I'm going to do, start doing um, probably maybe like a seven K bike ride a day as well. And I think just doing that without having to get back into gym and slogging it will help me drop to where I want to be. Like I'm not, yeah. I, and it's going to be yeah. a lifelong thing for me. Like it's going to be something where you focus on losing the weight, but then you don't sort of think about what happens, like what's going to happen for the rest of your life with you, it. So you can, you can always look to fill out by like, you know, doing a bit of muscle work and a bit of gain, like gaining weight in that fashion rather hmm. than, you know, thinking that, okay, if I gain a little bit, I'll look a bit sort of like more normal, hmm. you know, like uh, yeah. there, there are other ways to make yourself look healthy without saying, okay, if I gain five kilos, uh, hmm. I'll look a bit better. But yeah. At the end of the day, it comes down to what your body wants and hmm. what it needs it to be a, an efficient machine is hmm. the least amount of body fat hmm. and visceral body fat as possible. Yeah. But um, there's a question I've been uh, wanting to get to for a little while. Um, and it was uh, asked by Richard Kesper. Is there anything I can do to reduce the flatulence? I'm sorry to ask, but this is embarrassing. Um, no, there's nothing you can do. It just, the, 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 the sad reality is that some of the ingredients that are within the man shake, and I believe not so much with the lady shake, um, it does have a side effect that can cause flatulence. It does come and go for some people. I know for me that I'll have like two solid days where I just can't stop. It only comes for you. you. You just have it permanently. Action never fucking leaves. The gas, <laughs> the stories you've been telling us, fuck it out, man. It, it either comes out my ass or out my mouth. One of the two. Oh. But look, yeah, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> but when it comes down to it, like, I mean, yeah, a little, you can, you can try to control it the best you can with, uh, you know, like maybe is there medications or out there? I don't know. Seek I a think, doctor. I think any high protein diet will cause you to yeah. fart like a trooper and that yeah. too. So mm. yeah, it's not just the man shake. It is virtually any, any high protein diet will, will cause you to trump it down the road. Yes. That's one of those. Look, I'm I'm a I'm a polite. Um, we call it, we call it boomering in our family. It's always been a boomer. Um, I I tend to <laughs> I tend to extricate myself from the family and go and sort it out over there. And um, no one's the wiser when well, you just go to your private little nook and just let rip. Yeah, as long as it uh, doesn't walk G- back in with you. Gary G uh, had a bit of a question and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll quickly go over this uh, and then we'll give away another bag of yes. uh, mango shake. He said. Um, uh, I, it's disappeared off my chat, but I remember what it was. He's um, checking into hospital again for a little while. So, mate, I hope the surgery goes really well. Uh, has anyone had to use the man shake while in hospital for an extended stay? Mm. Uh, I personally have. I don't think any of us here have. No. no. Uh, but if anyone out in the chat there has um, been, like, vocational, like maybe people that are working mines or people that are away from home for a while can give Gary a bit of um, insight as to how you did it, uh, that will be great. Compared That'd to some great. of the hospital food, I think shakes would be pretty good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you probably lose more weight by just eating the hospital food, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> no, I've been very lucky with hospitals, really. I've only been in hospital once, and that was in year one when I got a knife up my arm in the artery, and I nearly died. But besides that, I've, I haven't really been in hospitals you at all. say something else then, Jude. <laughs> no, <laughs> knife up, no. I, I sat down a little no. too quick. <laughs> yeah, million to one shot, Doc, million to one. I swear, um, Doc, I fell and it's just... <laughs> no, I've been really lucky with hospitals. Has that, what about you, uh, Lloyd, with hospitals and that? Have you been in hospital much? Um, oh, I did when I was a lot when I was younger. Um, I had something that I caught from either being attacked by mosquitoes or something in the water, which caused me to drop weight and just become really sick when I was, oh. when I was a real little kid. Um, and it used to come around every couple of months. Um, so I did spend a lot of time in hospital when I was younger. Um, other than that, nothing serious. Had me tonsils out. Had just, um, yeah, bugger all, okay. really. Oh, yeah. I think we're pretty, and I think Ben. Like to touch wood. Touch I know, wood. I know, Ash, you were heading towards, you were going down a bad road there before you started losing weight, and that's one of the things well, that got you on yeah, your health well, path. I think but... it was, um, uh, who was it? It was Chris. Chris asked, um, and th- this was something I was going to get to in a little bit, but now that you mention it. Uh, has do we, uh, do we want to draw a uh, thing first? Do you want to draw a thing first, or do you want to keep going? It has, it has to do with what you just said. Okay, cool. Um, go. Go. So yeah. has anyone had blood work done before and asked they lost weight? And I will say this, right before I started my weight loss journey, like literally the day that I started my YouTube channel, my weight loss journey and that and the man shake, I received in the mail a letter 
from uh, the local health district saying that I was a pre-diabetic. I because uh, I went to hospital in November and a little bit in December, and they took my blood work on both occasions, and turns out that I was really fat. And yeah, I, I didn't know. The doctor said, "Look, mate, you're really fat." And I'm like, "Yes, <laughs> me." Anyway, uh, so um, yeah, I got this thing saying that yeah, you're a pre-diabetic. Uh, just recently, um, I had a bit of like a um, uh, what I could call a like a super anxiety attack. Uh, which, uh, you know, like uh, woke me up in the middle of the night. Uh, I went to see a doctor. I had some blood work done. But the good news is that he said that you have no trace of pre-diabetes anymore. You are 100% in the clear. Your cholesterol is good. Your, everything is looking good. And I was wrapped with that, you know, minus the anxiety attack. But, yeah, um, that has to do with that. So, there. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Now let's give away something. That's it. Let's yeah. go. Um, random number draw, one to a hundred, go chat, go. You've got a minute, chat. The number is locked and loaded. It's the second number on our private chat that you guys don't get to see. It's our private personal chat. Um, second number there, we're going to draw it. Dale's coming in red hot. Is JFK coming in? Gary G. Um, so Bradley said, I know we <clears throat> we never push the three shakes a day concept, but I have a legitimate question regarding it. Soon I'll be having seven teeth pulled. To make space for my orthodontic treatment, I imagine I won't be able to eat very well. Most people eat mashed potato, custard, ice cream as a soft food. I'm thinking three shakes with fruit blended through during this healing period. Look, to be completely honest, man, I would still only do two shakes and I would do the custard and the ice cream and the mashed potato and other soft foods like that because you're recovering. Like your body's going to need a little bit more than just three shakes a day. Like I know three shakes a day, like if you're going through that, you don't want to be focusing on losing weight. You want to be focusing on healing up and getting your body back to to the best possible shape. I would just, but at that stage, I would probably can the whole, you know, like thinking about your weight loss at that stage and just worried about the healing period. Cause I've had a fair bit of dental pain myself. And I just know that even just the operation of having the teeth removed will take so much out of you. It'll take so much energy from you and you just be better off having, you know, one or two shakes a day and making sure you're eating like a big plate of soft, you know, substantial food I just would, to make sure that you heal. I think I've got someone who's close that uh, just came up uh, with the uh, – but yep. let's stop there. Everyone stop. Uh, can yep. anyone else confirm whether this person got it? And I'm going to message our, our private chat. Right. Um, I would say uh, – I would add to that. I would say I agree with what Tim said. I would say maybe maybe have – I think that's the closest, yeah, Ash. Um, I would say maybe if you want to have three shakes, because you know you're getting the good shit with the shakes. You know you're getting what you need with the shakes. If you want to have, I would say maybe if you want to have three shakes, but then do what Tim said. Because three shakes are only going to be 600 calories. So you want to make sure that you're having, you know, your yogurts and all the stuff that Tim mentioned as well. But I, I can't yeah, see that. Daniel. Gonna, yeah. Daniel we'll Wills. Stop. Healing. Yeah, we'll be in healing mode. So, mm. like, you need to make sure that you're getting more than you normally would. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. But I mean, like, <laughs> okay, as far as, guys, like, yeah. Guys, come on, come on! It's only one guest per person. Stop, stop being pricks, yeah. All right. Um, okay. Yeah. We've, we've got so a winner. We've got a winner. Well, we got, we got well, a winner because it, it, it was it's his the first guest. It's the closest. It yep. Ode, Ode one one online. online. Ode one online. Sixty four. Uh, Seventy four was the number, and you guessed seventy eight. Ode one online. He's Dale a new Smith member. He's a new member so in Jerdville. Right Congrats, mate. Well done, buddy. Dale, well, Dale Smith got 79 straight off the bat. First out of the gates was like five away. And I thought that was the, the winner leading up until some people said 69. And then Ode one online uh, came in with his first guess at 88, uh, sorry, 78. And I was like, yeah. Tip. Oh, yeah. hang on. Isn't Bradley the burger guy? Yeah. He loves a yeah. good burger. Fucking chuck that shit in a blender. Splen Ash did it. <laughs> Ash blended a burger. You can do it too. Yeah. Yeah. Blend that burger. Do a bandicoot. Do it. Chris, I know he guessed a couple of times, but his first guess before he guessed the second time was the closest. So, um, what happened? Did Smee Smee guess seventy six? Did he? Where the fuck was seventy six? I didn't see it. Yeah, I didn't see seventy six. I'm going back. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Nineteen thirty two. I can't go 17, back that far. Seventeen twenty seven twenty three. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing seventy six. Unfortunately. Uh, sorry, man. If it missed, all, if all four of us missed it, Stephen, mate, try next time. Yeah, that's it. I guess my seventy-six was no good. We haven't seen. What? I can't see any seventy-sixes. Steve, we, if we don't see it, it's no Can good. Someone reply, <laughs> reply to the comments so we can see it. Yeah, we can't it see the comment. From if the you first lot of numbers too, by the way, guys, it was only from the second lot of numbers. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. So it has to be from the second lot of numbers. So if you, if you can tag me in a 76 that was five minutes ago, then, yeah, I'll give you a bag as well. Yeah, it's not from the first lot. This is the whole new draw. Yeah, yeah. This is a that's it. whole new draw. Yeah, whole new draw. There it, we go. I feel like Will, Will Farrell in Austin Powers. It's like, no, that question would have been a new line of questions. So yes, exactly. So start it again. <laughs> I do the meat raffles at work. I used to do the meat raffles quite often at work. And the amount of times you draw a number, and it would be seriously 10 seconds, and everyone would be going, draw, ring, draw. I'm like, the guy could be having a piss. Just give him 20 seconds to see if his number's been called. Oh, no, we got a photo of it in the chat. It oh, definitely was uh, 76. So Stephen is the winner. So me, yeah. uh, Smee got it. Perfect. Okay, cool. There you go. I, wait, no, I didn't point. You didn't ping for me. I didn't see it. Yeah, I've got a picture of it there. Okay, cool. Sick. There you go. All right. Well, well let's give one to Odin. Uh, who was yep. it? Yeah, yeah. We we'll give one to Odin and, and Smee. Yeah, if I can just have one, both of you. That's it. Done. Sorted. We're not. We're not doing that again. The person that we call out next is the winner. Okay, so uh, Odin, Smee, yeah. both get a bag each. But technically, we did get it wrong then. So. Come on. Like, okay, so we'll we'll say this: the Facebook chat, live chat, is not perfect. Yeah. No. So uh, give us a break here, guys. We're doing it live. I just like those two <laughs> comments. So Ode and Smee, bang, you've both got a bag each. Bang, bang, get in. Cool. That's that's three bags. We had to catch up anyway, so that's three bags. Bang. Three bags. There cool. you go. Bang. Um, we've got a loose – we do have a loose topic here. Chat, keep firing those questions off. Um, I thought we'd do this. Uh, that would be interesting to see. I know for me, when I started my weight loss journey, I wanted to see how good I was going to look at Christmas and when I started. So what yeah, what are our twenty twenty one goals this year, besides not being in lockdown all year, preferably? I came prepared. Hey, look at this. Ooh. Yes. Um, on New Year's Day, I made uh, this list uh, on my live stream uh, and I've broken it up to short, medium and long term goals. Bang. I found that to be very important with the way your weight loss journey set small achievable goals. It's like one to two months and Three to six months in medium term goals, something to work towards, and then six to 12 and celebrate each win. And um, they range from my short term one to two months is to lose the Christmas weight. So I need to get back under 109 kilos. I'm at 111 at the moment. Um, I need to maintain an 11K step per day average. So uh, uh, getting there close uh, slowly. Uh, again, towards the medium goals, like uh, it, but, uh, before six months, I want to get under 100 kilos. Uh, and uh, fit into comfortably a large shirt without the X, so without the X on the front of it, so just a large shirt. Um, and there's a couple other little things there I won't go through. And long term, like in, within 12 months, uh, I would hope to be around 90 kilos away, uh, uh, 90 kilos heavy, and uh, get back into weight training. So uh, got a few goals there. Let's work towards, but. Nice. Uh, there are other things there, like, you know, get a new wardrobe, new pair of jeans, that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, just, you know, that kind of cool stuff. What about you guys? Do you guys have any, like, goals, like long-term stuff, short-term stuff? So I'm doing month by month just with how 2020 was. I wanted to just focus on on each month. So on my that's smart, mirror that's smart look. in that's the bathroom, smart. I've, um, I've put my January 1st, my weight and my centimetres then underneath it, I've put my little goals. So my first goal was uh, go for an hour walk each night. Um, next one was cut out sugar. Sugar plays a massive part in my weight loss. Uh, also plays a massive part uh, with my mental health, I've found. Um, next one was lose five kilo for the month. So I've already hit 6.6 .6 kilo loss for the month. So I'm pretty pretty stoked with that. Um yeah, and I think that's all that I've done for this month. So I just do just gradual intervals. So next month I might amp it up a little bit and, um, yeah. Um, Dan, I want to come back to your question. I'm going to come back to Dan's question once we finish this. So, um, Dan, I will answer that question in a sec, Mark. Um, what about you, Tim? No, I haven't set any goals for 2021. And I'm okay. not going to either. Okay. Um, I've decided that for the year of 2021, I am going to take it as a I'm going to just do what feels right. You know, like I'm not going to put pressure on myself to meet specific targets or anything like that. I'm not going to set targets for myself. I'm just going to enjoy like life as it comes. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not worried about analytics for my channel. I'm not worried about numbers on a scale. I'm not worried about like anything like that this year. I'm just going to just enjoy a bit of peace and quiet from that, that aspect of my life. So that's yeah. I'd wake up on on the more in the morning on 
January 1st and I was like, you know, like everyone's like, well, what's your goals and new year, new me. And I was like, I just don't fucking care. Like this year, I just, after the year we've had, I don't fucking care. Like yeah, I, I, like I'm just going to enjoy this year for what it is. So. See, I, I kind of agree with you, but in the same breath, I kind of don't. Um, because in life, you you generally got to have some sort of goals or something to strive towards to grow. Why? Um, why? Yeah. Why? Well, why? Why? I do think, you have Tim, I think goal Tim's goal is. I think. I think no, Tim's no, no, goal no. is to be content. It's not just a goal that you need to achieve in the long run, but like you know, just something to work towards. Otherwise, you just kind of be you know going through life like a stick down the river like i mean for one year of my life i want to take the pressure off myself like I just, you don't need to put pressure on yourself like i'm not saying that this is a great big list of pressure this is a a, a list of stuff that if i get to awesome i'll celebrate it if not then hey, that's you know there's always the next that's, goal that's good for you man but for me this year i just don't want to have any pressure i don't want to have any goals i don't want to have any deadlines i don't want to have anything that i need to push towards i just want to enjoy a year of just taking it as it comes you know like <laughs> just that like just uh-huh. just it. <laughs> uh-huh. like yeah i did i i i think that you can do both lines of thinking and i had goals last year and i had goals the year before that and i had goals the year before, and then this year i just thought you know what i just want to take a step back and just enjoy the ride i think you want so, to find some inner peace i think you want to find some cont- content and be i think you want to find some inner peace i think that's what i think you just want to be content yeah absolutely i think then that, that's i think that's fine i think, I, that's I, fair. I think yeah, I think because you trying yeah. to do that will make you do like there are things that need to happen for you to to feel that way. So that they will fall into place if your your end game is to be happy. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, I, I think yeah, that's I'm, all that matters at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah, happy? like I me, I would like to um, obviously lose a bit and um, fitness. My fitness has been really bad because I haven't really been doing much. I think with more. Walking and some bit of jogging around and getting on my bike more, a bit more often. A few more chair spins, hey, Jerry? A few more. Fuck the chair spins. Fuck those things. You guys ruined more, it. They ruined everything. Uh, man challenges ruined live everything. on stream. Yeah, no. Oh, <laughs> fuck that. Oh, no. Nah. I think I just need to increase my fitness. My fitness is uh, not great at the moment. So um, get a bit fit. Um, back to the question I, was, I had pinged before. That was about loose skin. Have you guys found losing the weight? You have loose skin. Does it affect your confidence? And should you consider surgery to remove it? Dan, I've no. done an episode. Uh, I've got a beginner's guide on YouTube. Um, it's German. Just search German. I've done an episode on loose skin. I took a photo of uh, I've lost 80 kilos. At that point, I'd lost 80 kilos. So I've got a photo of my front and my side. There's so many factors with loose skin. My one big takeaway from it, you will either get it or you won't. Um, mm-hmm. Don't let it be a hurdle. Don't let it be another roadblock to stop you getting healthy. Loose skin is the least of your fucking problems. Don't. Yeah. If you're if you're in a casket dead of a heart attack, no one's going to say that. Geez, that German man's got great skin. skin. Have a have a look, have a look yeah. at his skin. It's beautiful. Okay, bye. Let's lower it down. Reckon, no one gives I'd a recommend fuck. Um, actually to to ref, reference outside of our, our four socials. Um, there's a guy named uh, I'm sure you've seen him, obese to beast. He um, lost a buttload of weight and he has very loose skin and he um has it like all over his chest and it really hangs and sags around his stomach and that Mm. but that doesn't stop him from putting himself out there shirtless to half a million subscribers Mm. and uh you know doing workout routines and that and not letting it get you know get him down and he he said that it was a real point of sort of self-confidence you know they had like a lot of self-esteem issues he hated the fact that he had that but he eventually learned to accept it because of the, the it shows where he was to where he is now and uh like i mean that being said i haven't really had to contend with much loose skin i've noticed that between my thighs like uh up the top the, it, like it does seem a little bit jiggly there that was, that's um, the worst part i had was the thighs yeah yeah uh a little bit down towards the bottom of my belly i can feel like it's going it's, it feels like a bit loose um mm. like it there's not like the full sort of like flappy skin yet because there's still fat under it but mm. i can feel that it's like more jelly like yeah. if, if you, Do will, you use then... vitamin e cream ash um, after your shower no I, you should, no you shouldn't no, use some i don't i, it's I good. should yeah i use that, so the bio, it's that little bio, tub was it? the white tub with the the orange label the vitamin mm. e cream um that's really good i used to lather up after a shower all the time um i really recommend that and water uh like um jeremy said water 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 uh mm. vitamin e cream Water's- very important and core stuff like if you do some core stuff too cool oh, well you do dpp yoga and all that shit so but um but at the end of the 
Yeah. At the end of the day, I'd rather have loose skin than be fucking dead. That's the thing. So, mm. No yeah, one, that's what like, saying, yeah. Don't let it be like we've got so many hurdles and so many roadblocks that we think we can't do this because of this. We can't do this because of that. If you're worried about having loose skin, loose skin is a good problem to have fucking have. That means you've lost a shitload of weight. I've seen people over the last week. I saw a few on TikTok, actually. There was a lady who had lost a shitload of weight and she's there dancing and jiggling around with the loose skin. She's just owning it. Like, hmm. it's your body. Like, being alive yeah. is the main fucking thing we're all here. Like, we want to be alive. So, yeah. And if you, it, look, if, if it's that big of an issue and you want to get surgery to remove the skin, then it's, it's your prerogative. It's your body. You, it's your, your body's your temple. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do with it. You want to, you want to um you want to get surgery and lose the the thing then do that that's fine my wife doesn't my wife and kids don't give a shit about my loose skin they don't care like you know they they just care if you shave your face apparently <laughs> yeah they do oh yeah. fuck my daughter hates that she fucking I mean I, and at the end of the day if anyone does judge you for your loose skin then they're not the kind of people you want to have in your no. life like I've had people I've had um single guys say look we've I've I've chatted with a few people I've lost weight and I've got loose skin and then I'm I'm trying to get back on the market but I'm worried that you know I said, look, I said, you need to be open with your prospective partner and just say, look, I used to be this big. I've overcome that demon. I've lost weight. I have loose skin. This is me. This is me. You either, you love me or you don't love me. That's the thing. Like, yeah. if someone can't, don't, yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, if, you know. Yeah. Well, it's, we'll that's, that's a big question. issue. That's a big issue, that loose skin. But yeah. Yeah, loose skin, like, and Jed was Jed nailed it. Like, I mean, with all things, you either get it or you don't. So, um, but you won't know until you try. So, just fuck, just fuck so many it. factors. You got, you, got, yeah. you got nothing to lose except for weight and uh, all to gain years of your life. But, um, we got a question from uh, Ode One Online. He says, um, uh, where, where did it go? I've got it right here. Uh, do you guys cut coffee or soft drinks? Now, I'll jump in, interject there straight away. Uh, I don't. Like soft drinks was the reason why I got as fat as what I was. So I got, I don't have Coke. I don't have that kind of stuff in the fridge. I keep that well and truly away. That's gone. Uh, I, the only time I have like a Pepsi Max or something like that is with a celebration meal because I know that's my gateway drug. So I avoid that. But coffee, coffee is so good for you and weight loss. But like, I'm not talking cappuccinos. I'm not talking lattes. I'm talking like black coffee. Um, long black, it, like a microphone. Long, long added, black. Added in your shake. Yeah. Uh, it, it's an appetite suppressor caffeine. Uh, there's also pre workout antioxidants in it. Pre workout, yeah, black coffee. Pre workout. Yep. Coffee, do not, if you're a coffee drinker, don't exclude it, but just get off the milk that goes with it. Skim milk is not necessarily better for you. Mm. It's almost better to have full, full cream, cream. Milk yep. than skim milk because skim milk is replaced with sugar. Sugar. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Um, I like, like um, Ryan, the question came up on Manshakers today. Uh, Ryan commented, and so did I. I will have a, a solo sugar free. I will have a, a Coke Zero sugar free. Um, for me, they're my like treats, like a, a Coke, no sugar, or a, or a Solo. I drink a shitload, a buttload more water than I used to, um, and I have my black coffee and all that now. But it's it's all about moderation. The first time I've had a full strength soft drink was yesterday at work when the soft the the Coke thing at work died, and I had no gas. So the Coke man fixed it, and he said he said um. Here, try this. And I had a little sip and I was like, I started twitching. I'm like, oh, is this, it's, it's normal strength Coke. What is this? Um, it tasted weird. I, just, I want to answer a question from Danny. Uh, because it's easy to lose weight on the shakes and a decent diet, have you guys found it's easy to be lazy with exercise? I lost 25, uh, 27 kilos in five months. Congratulations. Just on the shakes and zero exercise, but my fitness is terrible. That's my awesome. question is, my question to you is, does your, do you, are you doing something or are you planning to do something that requires you to have insane amounts of fitness? Because... For me personally, like my thing is I didn't give a shit about being fit. I just wanted to lose weight. My fitness when I was 155 kilos and when I was 117 was pretty much the same. But I felt better than I ever had being 117 kilos. I, so I, I, that... I, I, I mean, if you were training for a marathon or if you were training or Triathlon. if you wanted to bike ride every day or if you wanted to, you know, if you wanted to be more active with your life, then, yeah, of course, you want to, like, you want to, you know, do things that will help your fitness. No, I, I, no Tim, strong disagreement. <laughs> I'm going to disagree Why? with you again, mate. Why? Like, you, honestly, your body is designed to be physically active, mate. It does yeah. all sorts of things for your respiratory system, for your blood flow, and everything like that. But you so should be. Lo- doing- but so does losing weight in general. I'm not saying don't yeah, be losing. Yeah, but, but it's what you saying, basically are saying is you're saying, mate, you, you you know, you why do you need to be fit if you're if you're losing weight? If you're not fat, you don't need to be fit. I'm, you, know, you know, you can. You know, that's what you, you said lo- to him. You know, you can lose weight. 
and you can lose a lot of weight and still be unfit, but be in a much better place health wise than you were before you at your maximum weight. Okay, That's what if, I'm saying. if you're sedentary and yeah. obese and sedentary and thin, of course, when you're thin, you're going to be a lot healthier than the obese person. Yeah, that's but what that I'm being saying. said, if you don't do any exercise, if you don't do any physical activity, you're not going to be healthy. Your your body will still have a lot of underlying issues because you're not moving it. It's designed to be physically active. And yeah, I'm not I'm talking about going I'm, to I'm the absolutely going to I'm going to disagree with you Ash because I think that's your prerogative. I don't think it's that not that, a prerogative. That's everyone's it's, prerogative. it's recommended from doctors. Hey, you going, Jed? <laughs> oh, hey, 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 don't buddy. Yeah, I'm I just saying that like I, I, I just have an arm wrestle. No, I'm just saying like I'm just you know like I don't believe personally that you have to you have to go right. I'm going to lose weight and I have to be as fit as I possibly can be. Like, okay, if I I'm not saying that you you're taking it to the nth degree. No, I'm just, answering his question. He's talking about fitness, and I'm saying that if your aim is to lose weight, unless you want to do something that requires extreme amounts of fitness, then you don't have to go overboard with trying to find that fitness. If you're losing weight. And then you decide when you're going to lose weight that you're going to start training to run a marathon. Then yes, you're going to need fitness. You're going to have to improve that. Bill. If you're losing weight and just want to, you know, just get into a, a healthier spot in your life, you don't have to focus extremely on fitness. You don't have to. Just real like, quick, Bezo, Bezo saying that um, I don't have to. What was it? Put down people that I disagree with. It's not putting down. It's just having a, a discussion here because we got two differing opinions. And that's what podcast is all, all about, uh, uh, Bezo. And like, you know, like, I mean, at the end of the day, like, you know, we've got two very different perspectives about the matter. And, you know, I think, I think that it's important. And Tim thinks the opposite, right? So he's saying that this is the way that he would prefer to do it. I'm saying this is the way I would prefer to do it. And it's up to whoever asks the question to decide on who wants to listen to it? Yeah, who wants that, to do more research? The for journey it. is different for everybody. Like yeah. some people want to lose weight just to lose weight. Some people want to lose weight to become fitter. Some people want to lose weight and then challenge themselves with things like triathlons or marathons or bike riding, you know, but riding 50 kilometers. And that's cool. But what I'm saying is he needs to assess his goals. Does he want to get to a weight and then chase hardcore fitness? Or does he just want to get to a certain weight and yeah, maybe, you know, be a bit fitter? Like assess where your goals there, are at. There it's is like, the in between though. Like, you know, like for you, exercise sounds like you are talking about like going to the gym five days a week, running marathons and getting on bicycles and that. It could be just as little as walking half an hour a day. And that's what I'm trying to get at. Is that yeah, that's what if, I'm saying. If, if you've you lost the 27 be, like, kilos and you want to take it to the next level and increase your fitness, start just by doing a little bit of physical activity. That's all you need to do. And your body will thank you for it. Your doctor will say, it will thank you for it. Your blood vessels, your circulation, everything will, will thank you for it. Yeah. But that's not what we're talking about. He's asking me like how to go about figuring out what fitness level he needs to be at. And I'm saying you need to assess what your goals are at the end of it. Like, how is that not, not what he's talking about? I, I, I'm saying like, he needs to, he needs to talk, like he needs to figure out what his fitness goal is at the end of the day. And if he's chasing extreme fitness, then do things that allow, like that would, you know, you push yourself, find the made of motivation to do that. Okay. So someone, <laughs> someone won. <laughs> someone Brock. won. During Brock. Brock. Who won? Brock. 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 Yep. Brock won. Now, two teams. Brock won. Oh, no, Brock can't. Ha oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Brock can. Sorry. Now, no, he hates it. He no, hates Bingo. He won't want it. <laughs> he won't want it. He he'll, hates pay, he'll pay it forward if he doesn't want it. Uh, uh, so funny. Now, no, no, also, no, 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 no. If he doesn't want the mango, he can have a different flavor of his choosing. Yeah, just give him that. Of, he, part he of one fair and square. Part of that question that was asked was asking us on because we've lost the weight, have we lost the motivation to go out and exercise? I did the complete opposite. Once, once I dropped the weight, I was finding I was more motivated to go out and, and walk. And then I even got to the point where I was motivated to start going to the gym, and I started hitting the gym fairly hard. Um, this was pre COVID. And then once all the gyms closed down, that all turned to shit. Uh, so I've gone back into just going for a walk each night, whether it's, I usually do about an hour. So roughly six Ks and um, yeah. And I, I love it. So I haven't, I've stayed motivated even though I've lost weight. So. Yeah. And that's, that's really good. Like, and like I'm saying for me personally, when I look at weight loss, I don't look at the end result and go, I want to be, I want to be fit. Like, I don't care. I don't care about fitness. I just want to be a weight that I'm happy with 
and I know when I'm at that weight, I will feel a lot better. Like I don't need to walk. I don't need to run. I don't need to go to the gym. Like that's not what I care about when it comes to losing weight. And like, not everyone is the same. And a lot of people will, a lot of people will say, yep, that's cool. What I want. Some people will be like, no, I want to get super fit. Like, <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it, it's no. like I'm saying, okay. yeah. Every, everyone, yeah. everyone's giving us crap for having a lively discussion on a podcast. Like, I mean, I'm not giving yeah, crap at all. Me, Lou, we were, were listening. Four different opinions. Nah. Like, I mean, I'm waiting I, for the like, shirts to come off and <laughs> oh, 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 mate, like, yeah, like rip it into me saying like I'm putting people down. No, it's a differing opinion. And I'm not telling Tim, I'm not saying you're a fuckwit, but even though you are one. But <laughs> he says it behind closed doors, chat. Jesus. I say it to your face. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but like seriously, I love you guys. And um, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't change it for the world, except for Tim. Uh, <laughs> is there another question out there? <laughs> hey, hey, Jess. I'm just gonna sorry. Um, hey Jess, how you doing? buddy hope you're well my friend uh good to see you in chat mate um that's it um all right well we've given away i think we've given is that, that one two bags. that's four, four so brock four. got that yeah. did brock want that after all that i love i absolutely love ryan betson's wishy-washy freaking response i think ash is correct in some ways now that i've lost weight my desire to get fitter has increased however Tim is also correct. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't have to do this. I'm wanting to. And I'm not saying there isn't. I don't think there is a right and wrong answer. Oh, it comes down to personal let direction, me, where you want to go. Like, Hey, Clay, how you doing? Let me, let me weigh in here, right? Let me weigh in. I was the most lazy, fat, whatever, ever. I would lay on the lounge. I'd eat chips at midnight. We big said we might lay on the lounge, do nothing. I could lay on the yeah, lounge and I could feel my a heart. Good certificate, guys. Yes. I could hit, feel my heart beating in my chest. I could feel my heart beating in my stomach. Well, that's how, you know. Um, when I lost the weight and got, um, you know, I was, I was fairly fit at one point. I was fairly fit in March when I was trying training for that triathlon. And I was focusing on fitness, fitness, fitness. I want to get through this triathlon. I want to do this. I want to do that. Um, now that's, that stopped being a focus. Now I'm still doing stuff, but I'm not actively pursuing fitness. Um, to me, that's never been something that I've wanted to, you know, I've never thought, oh, shit, I really want to do that. But having said that, now that I'm going to drop some weight again, I am going to focus back on fitness because I enjoyed being able to, if I want to, I can run down the shops. I enjoyed being able to say, I can run down the shops. Yeah. And if a cheater catches me, I'd like to give the cheater, you know, an extra two seconds to get me. But um, like fitness, it's one of those things. You, you either want to, you either want, to be able to run or you don't want to be able to run like yeah, i found a lot with my know. weight loss as well that like you know obviously i i was like that where i was laying on the couch all the time and eating chips and then you're 30 kilos lighter and you're not doing that you know like it, it wasn't something that i i i didn't think to myself i need to be fitter and i need to be less lazy so that i can do those things it was just a natural progression it's like i don't feel like a fat shit anymore i don't feel like a sloth I don't feel like I need to lay on the couch and eat chips all the time. Mm. So I would be sitting upright in a good posture. I would be up around doing cleaning around the house. I would be taking Henry for walks. I'd be, you know, going like I'd be going to the park and the playground with him. It wasn't for me. It was the the mentality of just feeling lighter all the time. Like life wasn't mm. such a burden, and that's I'm, why I did it. But then I can understand why someone would go, "I want to be hyper fit," and they would go and do that. And that's what I'm saying is you need to decide. This person needs to decide mm. what their end goal is. Do they want to be super fit? If it's not something that's a, a, a big priority for them with their weight loss, then just focus on the weight loss aspect and the rest will come naturally. Well, I enjoyed, I enjoyed having fit. fitness. I'm, I'm going <laughs> well, like, to, I think, I think I could be a, a, a want to be fit person in a big person's body. Like I really enjoyed when I was fit, fit, fit and been able to swim and been able to do this and, and checking my resting heart rate and saying, holy shit, I'm nearly Bjorn Borg. But um, I think it just comes down with like life. Like, mm. do I do I have time in my life to be actively doing that at the moment? No, not at the moment. I don't because I'm I'm flat stick doing everything. But uh, I did enjoy being fit, and I would like to get okay. back there. there you go. So here's a here's a question from Hayden. He says, "What smartwatches does everyone use to track their steps and kilometers for Strava?" Or I'm just going to add in general. Um, I could lost my smartwatch. I'm so angry about that. Lloyd, I've Lloyd, got, what do you got? I got Apple Watch. <laughs> But I think it's um like, oh, Samsung. it links oh, up to Samsung. any smartphone. So you don't even you can even press go on your smartphone through the app and it will count your steps. It uses mm. the GPS to know how far you've walked or run. Actually, things like actually, that. Mm. Sorry to interrupt, Lloyd. I just you just reminded me of something. Um I've got a Samsung watch like Ash. It links with my phone and the scales and everything. 
when I was chatting to um, Adam uh, McDougal recently, and I was chatting to our good friend at Manshake Jess, um, they've got these things called, they've got these ring, there's these new, I don't know if it's new or not, but I was very shocked with it. It's a ring that goes on your finger. And it's got all the sensors and trackers in that. And he, Adam showed me the app on his phone with all, it tracks your sleep, it tracks all this sort of stuff. And he did, he did say that his wife would quite often look and say, look, you're not doing enough steps, Adam. Come on, come on. So uh, there's, there's like a ring. There's a ring. Uh, yeah. But the, the I haven't thing seen is, those. Uh, that's actually really clever because you would uh, actually get so much more accurate, like blood rate, uh, like, mm. you know, your heart rate and, you know, those kinds of readings from uh, a, yeah. like a yeah. ring uh, than a watch that can slide mm. and move and all that. That's yeah, Pika really and Dale are on it. Yeah, the Aura rings or whatever, they, however you pronounce it. Yeah, Aura I was rings. really interested that in that. I need, I wanted to check it out too. They look really interesting. But I, I use a watch that like links to scales. Battery life on. would be like in a... But seriously, like guys, a... smart watches, once you get one, you're just like, how do you live without it? Like, it's just mm -hmm. so good. It's just so, like you, you, there's stuff that you use on there that you never think that you would need to, nah. to do. But like when you get a notification in your pocket, you just like boom, and you can read the notification on your phone, on your watch, and you, know what? you get phone calls from it. It's just so good. When I'm so at work, good. when I'm when I'm at work with you guys pinging all day on Messenger, I do. I tend to pour a beer and I snap the tap, and I tend to look at my watch when it pings while I'm pouring a beer, snapping. Oh, okay, it's just Ash talking. All right, okay. It's yeah. just at, oh, oh, you guys wonder why I get so angry. <laughs> hey, Hamish said, I can't wait to lose weight so I have the confidence to walk and ride by myself without the feeling of being stared at like I'm some sort of animal. Hamish, oh, don't, don't worry about it. Fuck what anyone else says. Oh, like, if you want to walk in, walk. If you want to ride, then ride. Fuck what anyone else thinks, bro. I'd rather be like, looked at to yeah. be shown that I'm doing something rather than sitting at home doing fucking nothing. Yeah, yeah like, and that's what I said. Look, if you go to a gym, a time... no one's looking at you in the gym. Everyone's no. looking at themselves. No one gives a fuck yeah. about you in the gym. Yeah. No, one, no one cares. Hashtag, never a time hashtag that someone get would drive fucked. Up. Like, honestly, if someone has got a problem with you riding your bike or walking, then fuck off. Like, just like if Ash had a problem with my thoughts on, on fitness, fuck off. Like, it's, <laughs> it's your life. You can you can do it the way you want to do it. Like, it's, Get the fuck out of here. If he, if, he, if he has a problem, like, if you I know, didn't have a problem. Until that, if, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if, if I had a problem with like Ash's thoughts on this, then he can tell me to fuck off. Like it's just do it for you, bro. Like do it for you. Good, Ash. This, this is the one time I agree with Tim. <laughs> fuck off, Tim. Uh, Get the fuck out of like, here. Honestly, Hamish, what are these people going to do? Like, I mean, there hasn't been one time that I've walked, by, like, driven past someone who's obese on on the street walking. Clearly, an exercise stuff. I've thought less of him. I've been like, good on him. He's out doing, making a change. For yourself. The one percent that would actually think something like like negative about you, like they're just going to keep driving. You're not even going to know that they've thought it. Just just do it. Better yourself. Don't even give two shits about what no. anyone else thinks, man. You were out and, there. Uh, you were out there doing the hard yards. Fuck the rest of them and just do it. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, man. Who fucking cares? load up some music, some fucking Taylor Swift or some shit. And just sing it in the top patrol. of your fucking lungs and, and just don't give a hey, shit. Hey, Mish, and you'll also find that these are the same people in six months' time that see you and you've dropped weight go, fuck yeah, man, awesome job, buddy. So, yeah, right, uh, Lloyd. Right, there's a dude out there who walks around going, hey, guys, it's that fat guy. I'm going to tell you about what I did today. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at me. I'm that fat guy. Uh, see, there's a dude that does that. Like, you sound just like him, Tim. Um, <laughs> Steve, Steve in chat. <laughs> Um, I've seen that message about four times. Lloyd will Fuck check his too. email when we stop doing the podcast. He will check his yes. email when we stop doing the podcast. All right, dude. I, I had a guy um, gotcha. who I had a guy who photobombed me in uh, Super Cheap Auto yesterday. I'm there talking about my new Bosch, like you know, windscreen wipers, and the, I, I got the full stare. Like, uh, like I caught it in the camera, and I just what you streamed yourself <laughs> buying windscreen wipers? Fucking hell, Jesus! Talk about streaming everything. <laughs> It's you're a daily in the, vlog. You're through. in the fucking pool, Jed. You cannot talk at all. How good was the pool? <laughs> Doing some wild things, <laughs> fucking streams. Yeah. Well, wave check. Wave of, check, chat. Wave check. Nev Campbell in there. <laughs> <laughs> Denise, Denise, Denise Richards, please. Anyway. Ooh. I love Denise wild Richards. Things. Go, Ash. Uh, keep talking about your windscreen one of wiper the most blades. Iconic scenes in movie history. I didn't need Two to see. I didn't up. need to see Matt Dillon's penis though. That was a bit unnecessary. Anyway. What are what? you talking Wild about? Wild things. You saw penis in that movie. Anyway, keep going. I don't remember that. I must have blocked that out. Oh, no. I oh, was it Kevin Bacon's? Something. It might have been Kevin Bacon's penis. It was someone's penis. Anyway, go, Ash. 
speaking of which, it's nice when you lose weight. You can see your own. It's great. It's fantastic. Yep. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. Jared just derailed it. <laughs> Two. That's like the Hindenburg. I, I swear more people were laughing when the Hindenburg hit the power lines, you know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. I don't think the Hindenburg hit power lines, did it? Yeah, it did. It hit the power lines. <laughs> pretty sure it just fell out of the fucking sky. It flew <laughs> up. Yeah. Body is 98% water, Tim. Power lines. Body is 98%, 98% water. Nitrogen. <laughs> no, it, it hit it hit power lines, bro. That's how like it, as it was coming down the lane, it hit power lines. All right, Mango, number between one and a hundred. Go check, go, go check, go. Yeah, been, guys, we've been out of man talk for like a month and a half. Eh? We've got like, <laughs> a, like a month and a half worth of shit. One and a hundred, go. Bring on the banter. Yeah. Go, go, go. One hundred, go. Go. We we we're gonna give we're gonna give away three here. We're gonna do the last three numbers. Bang. Good. What's the what's the what's this number? Oh, gee, oh, this is going to be too tricky to try and keep three numbers. Fuck. Uh, the next number is... I got um, it. Yeah. You got it? Yep. All right. I do have to say, Tim, that um, eating chips on the couch is also exercise. It it's is. Crunches. It is. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, what is the next number? <laughs> okay. The next number is a low number, chat. It's a I low love, number. I, I love I love that meme where you're like, um, you know, you're watching the Olympics and gymnasts like, trips a little bit doing a triple flip here there with Pringles in your mouth saying, what a loser. <laughs> the low number so, It's like when you're watching the footy, you're like, oh, just run. You're so fucking slow as you're shoving a hot dog in your mouth. <laughs> oh. 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 That was close. It's very it was close. Nice. What's the number again? Dude, it's been definitely a minute. Oh, uh, the number's three. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who's going to get it? Who's going to get number it? Are we, what number is it? It's number three. Right. Who's going to get it? Who's first Dan, in chat? Dan, 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 Dan already got it. it. Dan already got it. No, you can't get another one. Uh, I'm giving it to... Uh, I want to give it to... Uh, Dan, Dan, has one, one. Mm. Dan has a one one. Dan has a one. I just want to give it to... Like, you've just forgotten about the whole number generator thing. You just, I'm just going to give it to this person. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, he gave away the answer, and then it's like just waiting for someone to get yeah, the answer. Yeah, well, I did. Um, <laughs> I think I guessed it. Dan Maroney, number three. Didn't he, didn't he already get one tonight? No, I answered no. his question. Oh, that was a question? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was uh, – I thought he won earlier. And look, we'll give one to Benny Charles too because he guessed the next number. So, Benny Charles, you can have one too. So, oh, Dan – Dan uh, – we're doing it live. Fuck it. Um, Dan uh, – last name – I can't I can't scroll back up. Yeah, Starts with an M. I'm sending a message M. now. Benny 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 Charles guessed twelve. That was the next number as well. Yeah, Benny yeah. Charles. And that that'll do. You can stop you can stop typing now. Stop typing, chat. Just stop it. We've got one no, left. Keep typing. We've got one left. Number stuff. We've got yeah. one left. Um, that's it. Although we have given away six now, I think we did a double, didn't we? Anyway, doesn't yeah. matter. Whatever. We'll, we'll we'll do one big number um very soon. Um, that is it. Between one and a million. One and a million. Um, if we pick like four. <laughs> yeah, you can stop guessing, chat. Stop. Yes, Maroni. There he is. Maroni and Benny Charles. Bang, bang. Boom, boom. Mango, mango. Double mango. Um, all right. What are we up to this week? What's going on? What are you doing this week, Uber? What's cracking? Uh, streaming and going to watch the entire series of Chernobyl. Oh, I haven't seen that I started yet. Watch, I started oh, watching the geez. first, uh, oh, the first that is episode last night, fantastic. and it was so fucking good. So good, man! It is it's fantastic, such a good show, bro. It is they're doing mad. and they're doing a new series on. Oh, what new series are they doing? Oh, they're doing a. Oh, I can't fuck. It. I'll have to look, but they're doing a new series on something too. It's going to be fantastic. Oh, they're doing the Last of Us series. No, no, I don't know. Anyway, those guys are doing another series. It's going to be fantastic. Those guys are awesome. Crack Krakatoa. Krakatoa, no. <laughs> I nearly did. I nearly did before I kicked the chair. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can tell her. Um, okay. What are that you doing this terrible. week, Ash? What's going <laughs> that on? Was so bad. That the dad joke. <laughs> um, what are you doing this week, Ash? What's going on? Well, me. Um, uh, yeah, you. Well, it's Australia Day tomorrow, so um, there's that. Um, interesting. Not, let's not let's yeah, not talk too much about. Let's not get, get into that. Get topical. Debate. That could get it's a, topical. It's a day off. That's all I care about. That's it. Um, I work it. So then, that's fine. Uh, yeah, not not a great deal is going on this week. Um, next week is a big week. Alyssa is um starting school, so that's on Thursday next week. So I'm keen for that. 
And uh, it was also her birthday that next week as well. So. Oh, wow. Big week. That's cool. Mm. Wow. Massive. Massive. Are you going to be sad on birthday of school? You know, tear up a bit, Ash, are you? Um, are you one of those parents probably. that will think, yeah? Mm. Yeah, probably. Um, like I, I'm, I'm a bit scared about it all. Like, uh, mm. like you know, because like... I remember when I handed like when she was one and I gave it to daycare like and I was just like boy like, oh, take care of her please uh. <laughs> like because I was a stay at home, like I was like I spent six months at home with her you know at that stage and I'm handing her to a complete stranger you know? yeah um and yeah I can imagine we much the same it's like those other kids better be nice to my my little girl mm. <laughs> you know so yeah I'm just a bit nervous so I'm keen to see how she goes. You will find that she will either be... There's two kids that go to kindergarten. They either cry and don't want you to go or they don't even turn around and say goodbye. They're just fucking gone. Both my twins just went, see us, and that was it. They didn't care. See, <laughs> see Alyssa is very much just sort of like... She's very shy uh, in social situations and she'll like, you know, tend to get a bit, you know, you know, so, you know, she'll like hug you and hold you and everything like that. But there are some times where recently that she's really shocked me. She's gone, all right, bye, Dad. You know, so I think that this might be one of those bye dad moments. That's cool. That's good. You see, you get to see him flourish a little bit. It's, it's good. You get to see him, you know, it is good. Was um, she doing daycare beforehand, Ash? So, yeah, she was uh, She was full-time daycare for yeah, like, cool. yeah, but she's in holiday care. This is the first time she's been able to be in holiday holiday mm-hmm. care and she's loving that. Um, and there's like all kids of different ages there. Yeah. But um, I think she'll transition pretty well. Me too. Me too. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, she'll smash it. Mm. Hopefully. What are you doing this week, Lloyd? What's ha- what's happening, mate? Uh, nothing too exciting. Um, mostly just work. I'm going to try and do a couple of streams throughout the week. Maybe a f- couple of pre jerdman streams, I suppose. And, um, yeah, nothing too exciting. I'm just glad that the cool change is coming through tonight. So we'll no. be back into the 20s for this week for us in Victoria. Thank it's, God for that. Because this week has hotty. sucked. Yeah, I hate hotty. hot weather. It just hotty. drains you. Mm. Just don't want to do anything. Like, I had um, someone at work today say, this aircon's not on. I went, I'll go check. It was on. I went back and said, mate, it's on. I'm sorry. There's not much I can do. I said, yeah, it's on. Hey. <laughs> um, I am streaming this week. You'll get me on Twitch every night from 9.30. Uh, Wednesday, I'm going to give away some mango shake as well on Twitch. So coming in there at 9.30, I'll give away some mango shake. Uh, 9.30 Wednesday night. Uh, and that's it. Uh, that's it. Nothing really. Uh, tomorrow is a uh, happy birthday to my darling sister. Her birthday is on Australia Day, so happy birthday to Crazy Cat Lady out there. If you're watching or you see oh, this, happy, happy birthday. birthday, Crazy Cat Lady. Um, she is fifty tomorrow. So there you go, bang. Wow, wow. big five zero. Yep, congratulations. She's fifty. Yep, that's no, fantastic. She's not. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, darling sister. She's gonna hate that. Um, anyway, that's it. Cool. Uh, Lloyd. Now, did we? I asked Lloyd to expand on his Backstreet Boys. Did you do a custom man talk Backstreet Boy? No. Let's hope I don't fuck it up. He did. I, oh, gave, it a whole, I gave it a whole like 15 minutes practice. So, you know, it hey, could, it could get, kind of go anywhere. But Hey, yeah. chat. Well, when Lloyd's singing, uh, number between one and 100, go chat, go. All right, Lloyd, let's flick over here. Number between one and 100, oh. go chat. Oh, shit, Lloyd, hold on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hold on. Come on. I'm going to ditch the pick, guys. Sorry. Okay. Finger pick. Scratchy. Oh, scratchy. Is anyone watching, watching the chat? Back again. All the man shake is saying, Got to bring new flavors, show you how. And if you got some questions, better ask them now. Hell original. Definitely not. I'll be only one. No way. Are we sexual? Yeah, we are. <laughs> Everything you need to fucking rock your body right. 
everybody yeah yeah rock your body yeah yeah everybody rock your body right and talks back all right all right now throw your shakers in the air Shake him around like you just don't care. Gonna bring you flavor, show you how. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, she's a bit shaky, guys. Apparently, had a shaky. noise gate problem. No, Everyone was it. noise gate. Apparently, people were yelling out noise, noise gate, gate or sound gate. We're on Skype. I don't think there is a. No, uh, but we would hear fine if there's a noise gate on Jerd's end. It might be cutting Lloyd out. I was hearing Lloyd fine. I was hearing Lloyd fine. So okay. I don't know what was yeah, going on there. But that might be through OBS uh, slobs or whatever you use. OBS might be initiating a noise gate thing that you might have on. No, it. but it was registering on the thing. So I don't mm. know what was going on there. I don't know. Um, we'll to back to it. Hamish, I think you got the closest. Hamish, Hamish Coy, I think you were the closest, mate. You win. Hamish Coy, come on down, buddy. You in a mango. You were the closest. The number was, now if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. 54 was the number. I think Hame guessed 56. And I believe what that was What was I looking at? So. Oh, I was looking at 89, the other one. Whoopsie. No. I have literally, <laughs> I've literally forgotten how many bags of shake we've actually given away. Um, that's seven. That's and seven. That's seven. Oh, okay, cool. Seven? That's seven. Yeah. Um, did, so there you go. Did Brock end up going with the mango? Is he going actually going with the mango? I think, he's, or I think he, he said he was going with the mango. Yeah. 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 Well, he's going to be the first guy who goes, actually, guys, I, I love it. <laughs> yeah. So 54. So Haim, get in, mate. He's so happy. Yes. There you go, Haim. Um, all right. That's it. Cool. Yeah. That's it. We're, we're done. One, one's in the bag. Oh, who said 54? Belinda. All right. Give her a bag too. We've given away eight then. Belinda, there you go. Eight bags. Done. Hey, and uh, I'll, I'll make Blair Bennett Marshall, bro, come on. You can't just say every single number between one and a hundred, man. Like it's only one. You only get one guess. We t- we only take your first guess, bro. All right. So Belinda gets one. Haim gets one. That's it. Uh, eight bags. Eight bags full. No That's worries. It. Uh, cool. All right. Well, we'll be back next Monday. Uh, we'll, we'll hit us up in, in Man Shakers. Um, if you haven't joined Man Shakers, hit, up in, hit us up in Man Shakers with what you would want to see on the show next week. Um, what you want us to chat about, um, hit us up with some questions on our relevant socials and um, we will be back next week. And I don't know, might be a bit more polished, but I think it was all right. I think for the first show back, it's been a month. We dusted the um, yeah. cobs dusted off. Dusted the mics off and, you know, it was, uh, it was good. Beautiful. It was really good. Was Beautiful mic And, and, just, and just, so, just so you guys know, there's no love loss, right? There's no love loss between us. But that's Me and Lloyd love each other, don't we, Lloyd? We love each when, other, Lloyd. When, when it comes to anything, really, you're going to have differing opinions. And for people that are passionate and others who are fuckwits like Tim, um, you know, you tend to come <laughs> head to head and, you know, just... <laughs> Oh, sorry, did you say something, Ash? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah, oh. I did, and I know you're listening. Oh, oh. No, I was just, I was just reading comments. Sorry, uh, I, was, I was, I was just thinking I, about. I'm, so, I'm surprised you can read. To be I was, fair, I was I'm just surprised you can read. Good I, job. I've got a very high reading level, actually. Yeah, I, you, you oh, told yeah. me. Mate. Can you oh, run yeah. the? Uh, can you just run the outro, please, Jed? Bye, chat. Love you, chat. <laughs> Uh, Twitch.tv slash Jerdman right now after this bang. Get there. Wait, wait, um, let's go. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Ash loves you and there's nothing well, you can do about it. First plug of 2021 goes to Jerd. No, it wasn't. You've, you've already plugged to YouTube. Fuck off. Oh, that's the thing. You forget all the plugs you fucking do. You just remember my plugs because I'm just a fucking resident punching bag here in fucking mental. <laughs> Shut up. The first hashtag was Ash sucks. That's uh, like resident That was not me. Hey, I didn't fire that bullet. It is yeah, trending. I didn't fire that bullet. <laughs> Trending in Poland. That's what you said. Huh? I don't know. Anyway, that's it. We're out of here. Fuck it. Please hey. like. See ya. See we'll be back ya. next week. We'll probably give away more. Um, we might give away more mango. We don't know how much mango they've got. So if you want to, if you want mango, order it online. Get it. It's limited edition. So get it while you can. Don't complain about it later when it's gone. That's it. All right. You guys take it easy. We're going to run the outro and then we're out of here. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.